So today I'm going to the, So today I'm going to the Elliott Car Museum because all of you guys know as all of you guys know or should know I'm a huge car fanatic and I like looking at pretty things the Elliott Car Museum from what I remember when I was speaking on the phone with this uh this nice lady she was saying that they have cars dating to the 1930s if I remember that correctly and hundreds of them I wanted to go to the car show that they hosted a couple days ago but I was currently indisposed with some other business I had to handle so today is the day I had to make a quick stop get myself a cup of coffee but now forward to the car show because I know you guys are getting impatient So I just arrived to the Elliott Car Museum and I'm uh, pretty excited to see some really cool cars. Apparently they have like hundreds of cars on a giant car rotisserie. This is a first for me. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can see. So the race was on. Who would win? Steam, electric, or gas. So, funny story. When cars came out, they were actually, when cars came out, they were actually developed because of a pollution problem. So, if you were living in New York City in the early 1900s, you would realize that the entire city would be full of horse poop. So, cars were released and they remedied the problem. Apparently the horse poop problem was so serious that they actually found out it was more difficult to carry the horse poop out with horse run carriages because the amount of horses that it would require would also leave an enormous amount of poop. Wow, so this is actually pretty cool. This is a 1903 Stanley Steamer yeah, Stanley Steamer. Steam powered car. Yeah, we're looking at two cars. Fold down footrest? Look at that. <laughs> So I'm assuming you guys thought Tesla had the electric car game on lock, but the original OG electric car was the 1914 Detroit Electric Model 489. And wow, is this thing luxury. Looks like something straight out of Disney. It even has like apartment furniture inside. <laughs> Look at that seating. Doesn't get any more luxury than that. Riding in comfort. Like seriously, look at this thing. It's stately. Only weird thing about it, it was marketed towards women because, I don't know. They were odorless, apparently. But when it comes to cars, we all know who won out in the, in the fuel wars. And it starts off with a 1903 Cadillac. Just that, just 1903 Cadillac. Candy apple red. Look at that plush leather. This one remarkably was 
advertised towards males apparently mostly because it's reliability and off-roadiness so off-road that you can literally drive it up the steps of a government building so Mercedes-Benz in 1886 release the Benz patent motor wagon motor wagon first car popularized with a combustion engine and I don't know about you but this seems like the hardest way to start a car you had to spin that wheel to start the car but besides that it is very nice and pretty look how thin those tires are like no bigger than my thumb imagine running a modern Mercedes engine on those tires smoke machine <laughs> I just entered the first room and this is the least populated car room that they have and it's freaking packed with cars and now I realize that there's absolutely way too many cars to cover in one video now this car was pretty much specifically made for the bad and bullshit. It is the 1925 Springfield Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost Paul Mall Tourer. And my god, is it marvelous. The detail on this thing is amazing. Once known as the best car in the world. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a drop top. Raindrop, drop, drop top. Drop. So I was just informed by this young gentleman that we have a list of cars we can pull out of the car rotisserie. A list of cars you can pull out of the car rotisserie. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to go with first. <laughs> the last car you want to see in your rear view mirror is the first car that I'm picking. <laughs> Chief's car as well, but it's back in the garage unfortunately. You don't want to see that one. Ooh, ooh. That's the sound of police. Hello. All aboard! <laughs> this is like an original Ford school bus, all right? Right, yeah, 1931. Uh, the Ford Museum, of course, has a huge collection of Model A's as well, but we understand they don't, do not have this one, and there's another one of these vehicles in here they don't have as well. I'm gonna check this out. This school bus is actually Martin County's first school bus. Is it really? Yeah. You can go and look at the, the interior from the back. It is incredibly small. i never seen a school bus like this. You actually have to sit nice in the chairs. <laughs> wow. Longitudinal instead of like that way. Yeah, yeah, it's such fun. But I know all you guys really want to see is me drive this thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, are you gonna do it? Wow, I had a lot of miles on this thing. Someone really, really? racked it up. 997,000 miles. Get out of here. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> 